take one. <laughs> We're doing takes now, huh? No. Getting fancy. It wasn't fun trying to climb up a hold of the rung and then trying no, to... No, because you stepped on that part. Yeah, on the top temperature. You're like, am I close? And I'm like... <laughs> like no, like, you're like, no. Just your, like... halfway. I'm like on the fourth rung right now. Can you give six more inches? I have to get on it. Just put a foot on it. It's, it's, There's no turning back now. <laughs> I can try to give it a tug. Are right, you ready? So no. I mean it'll be close. I don't want to go up there and be too short. Oh my gosh.
Hey guys, now that we have both of our beams installed, the tripled up 2x12 uh, carrier beams on top of the posts on both sides of the barn, uh, we have those all nailed into the brackets and connected to the posts like we needed to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and measure out 12 inch on center for my floor joist, uh, the 2x12 floor joist to span. There'll be a 20 foot span uh, from side to side. And you know, a lot of times you'll see people do 16 inch on center, or sometimes even maybe push it out to 24 inch on center. Due to the weight load we're gonna have up in the attic and loft area, we're doing 12 inch on center since that's what's required. Uh, if I do 12 inch on center, I can take a two by 12 and span it 20 foot clear span without any additional posts on the interior of the barn, which we don't want. I want it all open so I can do my own custom layout and not have to deal with any posts in the middle of the barn that I gotta work around. And, stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and mark 12 inch on center and on each of the beams and then I'll go ahead and put these uh, brackets on uh, with my nail gun and then once I get these up there we can just pretty easily put the 2x12s up there and lay it down in the groove and then nail it from side to side. It should be pretty straightforward. Looks good. Come along. Now that we got all of our joist brackets up there, I'm gonna cut all these two by twelves down to 19 foot nine. So after I add my rim joist around, that'll bring us out to our 20 foot overall width. <laughs> Am I supposed to stop rolling? That's it. <laughs> I know.
I just got done getting getting all my uh, floor joists cut to 19 foot, 9 inch. So when Amy gets back home from playing some pond hockey with the boys, we'll start putting the floor joists up, and it'll be exciting when I start finally putting down my my uh, plywood uh, floor sheathing. You know, it's exciting getting the first floor or the attic loft floor in, and then I can start building out my gambrel rafters up on top of that and maybe put together the stairs eventually. I'll probably start working on the gambrel style rafters first since I'll be uh, cutting those and framing those out of my own as opposed to buying the uh, attic style trusses, which that'd go pretty quick just throwing them right up on top of those beams and attach them to the brackets, but I, I opted to go with a, a custom pitch design and it gives me uh, more clear span floor space upstairs. It doesn't restrict you with uh, vertical uprights, you know, like 12 foot or 10 foot, 12 foot, or you know, whatever the width that the attic trusses come in. Um, and then you're only restricted to working within this box, uh, you know, after you're done and stuff. So since I'll be custom building mine, I'll have the full floor open from side to side, 20 foot width, and it will taper in as you go up. You know, and I, I wanted certain uh, roof pitches on my lower pitch and then my upper pitch, and I was able to modify those and get them all to where I want in order to stay within the height limitations that I need to uh, build within. You know, so it just gave me some wiggle room in terms of what I was able to do. So it'll be exciting when we start putting that together. Just do them every every fifth for now, just to get. Any movement we gotta get done up top. Oh, it's not flat. It's on ice. Yeah, it's slippery. Sorry. Maybe this time we'll just throw it up on top. This one first? You ready for that? Yeah, kinda. I don't know how hard it would hit. Right? Twenty some more to go.
round two, three, four, I'll go about every, I'll go about mid post there and okay. Shuffle it up there like this. Yeah, going in. Way lighter than the beams. joists around the on the end just get some vertical get walking in and out He was gonna lay his rafters up there, and that was gonna be the, the roof. No, nope, we gotta add another floor, and then we'll do our roof. Yeah. Farm animals need room for the hay storage and all that. That just increases so much storage space, though. Oh yeah. I mean, it won't be like it won't be 600 square foot walkable space, but. I think you'll have, at six foot tall, you'll have 13 foot wide. So whatever 13 times 30 is. Is that 390? Sure. 26, 36, 70, yeah, 390. 390 like walkable six foot height space. Well, that's at the minimum. I mean, the center would be a lot, be a lot taller, but at the very edges, you'll be roughly six foot tall at 13 foot wide. But then you still have all that storage for that extra seven foot, three and a half foot on each side, which you can really utilize for stuff. You know, I was, I was cautious on the last few, like, oh, maybe she's not going to have that end up high enough. It's kind of like questionable. I'm oh. like, no, well, she's got it. I did have it. You walked too quickly. Uh, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't even slow up. No, usually you do. You just, oh, goodness. That was a 
people. Dude, can't you? I'm so confused. Who is this? Who is this place? Right in the hand. Beautiful. So what you're telling me is we have to upgrade it so I can see if the camera is actually facing us? Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> it's just money. Yeah, and how, how nice of one you want. I mean, I figured I'd just start out with this one to see how it hey, works. it's it. working. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice, <laughs> it's still a nice GoPro. It's very nice, it's very nice. Top of the line. <laughs>